Hi, and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale channel. In my first video this year, um, the update video explaining what's going on and where I've been, um, I explained that I'm going to use you guys as kind of a, an accountability partner of sorts to see if I'm on track for this year. I set a goal for myself for this January to be 10% higher in sales versus last year, the same time period. So for January, I think, I can't remember what the total is, but I want to end up somewhere around um, $8,775, and that would be 10% up above what I sold the year before. Currently, I'm not quite there yet. I'm, this weekend I was, on Saturday, I was up like 12%, but now I'm back down to about 7.5% higher than last year. So I'm still on track to do more than last year at this time. Um, generally, I see an upswing in, in orders um, at the second half, like from the 16th to the end. And I don't know if that track will continue. That's what it was like last year. It tends to fluctuate. There has been periods where the beginning was more where I would get more sales versus the end. But last year it trended to be the last half of the of the month that I would get more sales. Um, January and February I tend to do fairly well. So I'm hoping that that'll continue. You know, people get their tax money, they got gift money, they're still spending. And the, the area that I sell in of collectibles and such doesn't take as much of a dive after Christmas, like new toys, etc. So, all right, I'm going to get pulling the orders and we'll go over what item I am pulling is a Scentsy warmer. So let's find that. First item that sold was the Scentsy Silver Snowflake Frost warmer. And this sold for $26 plus shipping. Now we have, excuse the heater, it's a little chilly down here in the basement. We are in Minnesota after all, is a Blue Sky um, Tea Light House. And I believe it's sold and it doesn't have the underplate. So here it is. This one, like I said, sold without the underplate. They still sell, but for not as much money. If you can find them in the box or with the underplate, they sell for a lot more. And it's own sold for $16.97 plus shipping. Next item up is another Blue Sky Clayworks piece. Let's go grab that. It is a giraffe teapot. And here they are. Now, these do have wear on the chrome lids. There's some finish issues. Um, but regardless, probably could have got a little bit more if they were a little bit better condition for the lids. But they still sold for $22 plus shipping. So it's not bad. And another item we're pulling is a couple mugs. So let's go grab a Giri mug and an owl mug. So I found the owl mug right away. So let's just find that Otagiri mug. So here's that mug, little Otagiri mug. Um, and this Otagiri, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, this sold for $15 plus shipping. I also sold this egg coddler, Wedgewood egg coddler with the clipper ship or ship on there. It sold for. $19.97 plus shipping. Egg coddlers can do well depending on um, the condition, the size, and the, the design on the, the front there. Some are more common than others and they go for a lot less, but they still are decent to pick up if you find them for a good price. Also sold this owl mug. Um, it's stoneware, pottery. I believe this might be Otagiri as well, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, this sold for $13.57 plus shipping on an offer. All right, let's grab Sold some more. a blown glass Adler ornament and a Heather Goldmink angel bell. So I'll find those. Um, it's probably on the other side. All right, let me grab Christmas them. This item still do sell all year round. That little hand blown ornament sold, unfortunately, for $5.50 plus shipping. I did accept an offer on it just because there's some glue that just looks super obvious on this piece. Um, and I just thought, you know what? Someone wanted it enough to send an offer. I'm just going to accept it. So I just took that offer. Um, not my model, but again, this came in that huge haul where I bought out someone's um, Three Wise Men collection. So it's not a big deal. This uh, little Heather Goldmink Friendship Angel Bell sold for $19.97 plus shipping. So they paid full price on that so it's nice and that's heading out the door as well. Next item up is something I just listed recently I think I picked it up about a week ago 
um, is a, obviously is a more modern piece. It's a peacock lamp. It's like a gold tone metal. Um, I listed that though, and it sold within a week. Unusual lamp sell. I mean, not that that's super unusual, but that's not the normal little pottery lamp or something you'd see in somebody's living room. But that sold for forty nine ninety seven plus shipping. Couple wood boxes to pull. One is a Norwegian tine box. I know this sold as well. That sold fast. That sold the same day I listed it. Let me grab them and we'll go over it. Next up is this Tyne box. It's a small one, hand painted, definitely vintage. Um, this one sold for $23 plus shipping. Some of these can go for wild amount of money. So you just got to be on the lookout for those and look them up when you see them. Um, this one is the next one on the list. This little Russian lacquer box, depending on the subject matter on the cover there and if they're signed, they can sell for a lot of money. Um, this one didn't sell for a ton. It's a hinged box. Um, there's some condition issues, but regardless, this one sold for $29.98 on a, a sale. I was running a sale on a lot of these, um, plus shipping as well. So again, this was a, an offer on a sale. The next couple items, like I said, this one I just listed. I didn't list it terribly high, but it sold fairly fast. And that sold for $16.97 full price plus shipping. Again, I probably should have listed it higher, but it probably would have sat longer, and I'm perfectly fine with it selling super fast and moving along. And that little octagon-shaped wood inlaid box sold on an offer. Um, for $10 plus shipping. Um, this was sitting around for a while, so I was okay with letting that go. It should free up a little bit of space. It doesn't free up a lot of space, but it frees up some. Alright, let's pull some We up. have an art pottery mug. It has a face on it. These can sell for fairly well. Uh, sorry, these can sell for a decent amount of money as well. This one is a Scrooge one, so I can see it here. It's like a mustache cup. I think it says bah on the back. Um, this is John Coiner, and he's actually a well-known potter. A lot of times he was making pottery with Deneen pottery, which is in the, um, around my area. They sell a lot at Renaissance festivals, um, but that was a good pickup. Let's pull a couple more items. It's a glass cat, so I'll grab this it. This cat here, I kind of want to go over. A lot of people are listing this as Murano glass, and if I'm not mistaken, this is not. The base is still kind of cloudy. It's not super clear. Um, and if you look, the green and blue are, are kind of sloppy in there. Um, I'm no expert on Murano glass, but there are a bunch sold for a low end and a bunch sold for a higher end. So, um, you know, this actually was sitting in my, on my store for, or in my store for a while and somebody reached out and wanted to purchase it. Um, they sent an offer of 14 bucks plus shipping, and I accepted it. Um, without knowing the origin or enough about Murano glass, I'm not going to hold on to this just because I think I can get more. I'm just going to move it along. And then that's what I did. So $14 plus shipping. I don't believe that's Murano glass. I could be completely wrong and maybe undersold it, but um, there are a bunch listed, and the sales are all over the board. And just by the quality of it, it didn't. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't scream to me Murano glass. All right, so that's heading out. And this is the, the mug I was showing you that I sold. And this guy sold for $26.97 um, plus shipping. All right, let's pull some. Uh, hunt down a little decanter. So a crystal decanter and then also a little mug. A little, I think it's like a Toby mug. So here's that decanter. This sold for $64 plus shipping. I'm going to kind of scroll and see if I give you any details on it. It's just a French crystal decanter. It looks like a crystal ball at the bottom here. Um, and then a nice little stopper. And it's polished. So $64 plus shipping. And then I also sold this little, I believe it's a Toby mug, but it's like a little creamer, little pitcher. There's a mark on the bottom. 
And this I took an offer for um, $16 plus shipping on that. We have an Ellie Smith fairy light candle base that's sold and then also a couple of Jim Shores. So let me grab so those. This would have sold for a lot more money obviously if it had had the top to this Pagoda fairy light. I chose to sell the base only. I probably could have got more but I accepted an offer of $23 plus shipping on it. The chances that I'm going to find the top to this very very rare that I'll find just the top so I chose to let it go I uh, could sit for quite a while without the 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 top so that's not a bad sale I also sold this little Jim Shore Jim Shore I didn't know initially made these little minis and they're marked JS down there a lot of times they won't have the sticker or any other markings on them but these are Jim Shore um, this sold for $16 plus shipping now I also sold another Jim Shore figurine, however it's boxed up and I don't want to have to take that out, but this is the one that's sold. So it's Jim Shore Snowman figurine, Winter's Haven, alright, and I believe I sold that for, let me double check, I'm going to get off the screen so I don't show any personal information of people. Um, that sold for $20 on an offer as well, plus shipping. It's in a box, it'll be easy to ship. Let's keep Next going. Next up we have some craft butterflies. I was at an estate sale and I picked these up, but I kinda wish I wouldn't have. Um, but someone got a good deal after the fact. I, I picked these up for $4 and I'm selling them for $4.50 plus shipping. So it really wasn't worth my time. Um, in the moment I thought they would be worth more because this I believe is like pearl, like not pearl, but abalone or mother of pearl. Um, shell. I think it's abalone. So it's it's abalone, I believe. Um, and they're like just little craft pieces you can use for things. So four fifty plus shipping on that. And I got a brass more. Abraham Lincoln bookend sold. So I'm gonna pick for a minute. Up. There, brass was selling very well. Still sells. You know, mind you, what the subject matter is. This was probably a little bit harder of a sell, but Abraham Lincoln bookend. Here's sold for $17.97 plus shipping. All right, I have some pottery. I undersold this. This is a handmade glazed pottery jar. You know, it's hard to price some of these items. If you research them and you can't figure out who the maker is on it, you kind of have a temptation to sit on it for a while instead of just getting it out there and selling it. And this is something that I listed last week and it actually already sold. I accepted an offer of $27 plus shipping on that. I probably wouldn't do that in the future, but, you know, like I said, I have my goals I want to meet. Um, I underpriced it when I initially listed it, and when I got an offer on it, it was hard to, like, not take something for it. So um, this did sell for $27 plus shipping, and then also one more Jim Shore item sold, and this sold for more than that, not much, but more, $28 plus shipping. All right, without a box, and that's more modern one, and it is marked. Not a more modern one, more recent. So, I think so, 2017. All right, let's pull some more items. more items to pull. We got another art mug, art pottery mug, and a glass ornament, and some three handmade three wise men folk art pieces. So, let's so get this, like, art pottery, kind of space agey um, mug sold for $12 plus shipping on an offer. Um, I sold uh, this art glass, it's like iridescent hand-blown ornament, it's like ornament or sun catcher. This is heading out the door for $20 plus shipping. And then the last item that I pulled that is heading out the door are these handmade paper mache, um, three Wiseman ornament set. So... They have a sticker in there, and I believe it says made in Japan. My eyesight is failing me. But anyway, those are heading out, and I sold those for... Whee! I'm running into stuff. It's so packed down here, i got to get organized. $10 plus shipping. So that wraps up all of the orders. Thankfully, no huge, huge items to ship today, because i got to get my butt going. Um, in the last few weeks... On Monday, I've had some 
you know, quite big pieces to pack and ship, which have not been fun. So it's making me rethink whether or not I want to sell large, large items. Um, and I've missed out on some wonderful items to sell, like these carousel horses. Um, but they, for me to lift them by myself was a chore. So in order to do that, get them in the car and then list them, I, there's no way it would have been a freight ship on those or a local pickup only. Um, until I get a booth, hopefully I get a booth this year. That's one of my goals as well. So, but that's going to wrap it up for today's what sold video. Again, this was Friday through Sunday sales. Not bad. Um, slowing down a little bit, but you expect that during the holidays, you know, right after, and then it'll bump back up a little bit before the end of tax season. So, all right. I hope you guys are having a great, um, 2024 and hopefully I'll be more consistent with dropping these videos. So until next week on another what sold, um, have a great one. Otherwise I should be dropping another thrifting video too soon. So, all right. Please like and subscribe if you can, if you haven't. And put a comment down below if you have any questions. See you in the next one.